Ooh, Tomb of the Ancient Kings. Rex Raptor. Let's do it. Rex is going to have a hell of a time because 90% of our dudes are well, dark creatures. So, what are you going to do? I was talking about voice performances. Jesus. Uh, obviously, Dan Green does an excellent job. More dialogue. Give me a sec. I've been waiting for you, Yugi. So my opponent here is you, Rex Raptor. That's right, Yugi. Now come on. I'm gonna humiliate you like a Chumpasaurus Rex. I get it. Go ahead and try. It's time to duel. I I I really I'm really digging these four kids puns. That's one thing I like about playing a four kids game. Well, not really a four kids game, but a game with four kids dialogue. <laughs> you get some really off the wall. Dialogue. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm not afraid of the lightning creatures he has. So, what we're gonna do is. Um, obviously, summon Skull. 20% light, 20% dark. Um, let's see. He's got some. He's got what? One light creature and two lightning? What is lightning weak against again? Earth? Uh, let's see. Where are my pieces of Exodia? Why don't you use some other monsters? I don't want to, okay? Like, this is my playthrough, and I'm gonna do what I want to do. Um, we could try Torki. I mean, we have nothing to lose. He has dark. No. He has uh, two lightning creatures, one light. And I think we do two Kuribos. Yep, I am sure. I should have done a light monster. Did I do a light monster? I don't have any light monsters, do I? Oh, this is gonna be fun. Who am I kidding? Like, I'm not too worried about it. So this stage we have to be careful. We touch the uh, what looks to be ooze. Any pieces that are not earth are going to take damage. So we have to make sure we can get in and out of situations relatively quick. And yeah. All right, and we are all set. Let's do it. It's time to start. Past turn. I'm gonna mash you up into Dino Chow. I'd like to see you try, Rex. I do like. Okay, so as you get further on in the game, I'll tear down your defenses. As you get further on in the game, uh, some characters will have. Well, unique. I'll have unique creatures. Kind of like we're about to see with uh, Rex here. And get these pieces moved up. Oh god, he's horrible. Why did I pick him? I have enough to summon another piece of Zodia, huh? Okay. 
And that should be it. Pass turn. Yep. I think I'm in range for the scorpion to attack, so... Oh, he has to move closer. Okay. Everyone has this bulldozer creature. I know he's trying to sneak around. It's not gonna work though. There's the feral imp on the battleground. We're gonna attack here. Oh, it was almost a one shot. Damn. I feel like we need to be more aggressive, but I'm gonna hang back with these two. Move this piece of Exodia up. Get the kill on this. Call it there for that creature. Ten points And let's see. This piece of Exodia can move up. Or to the right, I should say. This P. <laughs> Oof. The disadvantage is real. I don't have enough AP to move any other other two. That's unfortunate. No, nothing I'm doing is working. Alright, so this piece of, or this Karibo needs to move. Or not, it's just gonna die. We're gonna see that piece take damage here in a minute. Yep. 25. That's not good. I take damage at that location. Gas damage. All pieces except Earth pieces receive damage. I won't let you stage a comeback. Mm, not close enough. I think Kribo can get him close enough for the kill. Nope. Sure can't. Let's check the other pieces before we commit to that. Remove Feral Imp. Remove you here. It's, it's unfortunate. That was a different dialogue. My bad. We're going to take this piece out. Now we'll move this piece and attack. One you point. Don't believe me? Just watch. Alright. This is going to be a crucial turn. Creepo might be able to kill me here, yeah. Yep. No. Wow. I'm actually very surprised by that move. Monster. 
Yeah. Character-specific monsters. This is badass. Can you beat him, Yugi? Can ya? Can you beat him, Yugi? Uh, I've done a pretty good job of beating all your other monsters. Let's not talk about uh, Karibo, though, okay? <laughs> I have to step into the gas! Wait. Yeah, I have to step into the gas. And, uh, let's see. I believe Feral Imp can take care of... Yeah, let's attack here. He's one shot. You can't fossilize me. Yeah, I keep telling yourself that. Move. Attack. Yep. That's all she wrote. Good job, Feral Limp. We'll move this creature up. I gotta take care of that creature. Oh, I don't have to move. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I do have to move, but... Ugh. I feel like I can attack here. But I don't think it'll be enough when I go attack with this. If it's 205... Oh, yeah, never mind. We'll do it. Attack. Let's see, we can attack Kribo there. But we can move, right? Yeah, we can. Oh. Twin Handed King Rax moves one, two, three, and I would be in range for an attack. This is tough. Uh, now, I could move here. Yeah, I can move here. I can attack here, take care of this piece. And then we move this piece here. Things are looking down, but I can still come back. Oh, whatever. Attack here. This should kill Karibo. I'm gonna kick that fur ball around. He shoots. He scores. And we move this piece up. And that is it for my turn. was a lot of damage, but it survived. But voice, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, obviously, yes. Dan Green, great voice actor. The voice actor for Kaiba, can't think of his name right off the top of my head. Amazing. One of the best, if not the best, voice actors I have heard for, um, I guess for Kaiba. He does Kaiba justice. That's what I'm trying to say. There are a lot of voice actors that try to fill that role, but they're just not good. But like Pegasus, the voice actor for Pegasus, I was talking to Emperor and Shadow about this one day, and we were both we both agreed. He's very I would say he, he he's very picky with his dubs, but he and I agree that the voice acting for uh, the voice acting for uh, characters like Kaiba and Pegasus are just on point. They are really good. Game of one, two, three, and he's in range to attack. We're gonna move one over here and in turn. Oh, he's running scared. Well, I want Twin Head King Rex, and if I want a piece, I'm gonna take it. Call me Hannibal because I conquer anything and everything that I want. What's my health at currently? 
185. I should live an encounter with this dude. I just need to find a way to box him in, that's all. Kariba would die if he gets too close. Earth would hurt this. And then we move up. In turn and past turn. Okay, you asked for it, Rex. Here we go. Move. Attack. 360 health. It took three hits to bring this dude down. That's impressive. Alright, so this is the finishing blow. We gotta see what it looks like. Here we go. This will finish you. Alright. Is he gonna run him over with that bulldozer that he calls a claw? Or shovels or whatever they are? Here we go. What is that thing? <laughs> That'll do it, I guess. This can't be! This isn't possible! Actually, it very much is possible. Very fuck it. You know what it is possible? There. Jeez. Stop making this so convoluted. Why? Why did I lose? Cause you suck. It was a close match, Rex Raptor, <laughs> but I'm the winner. <laughs> uh, close match, he says. There's no need to stick around and rub it in. Hurry up and go to the next stage. Goodbye, Rex Raptor. 56 points. Jesus. Level up on the symbol. All right. All right, I know what base AP needs to go up for sure. PP, I don't have to ever worry about a creature getting close enough to me. Effect strength, yeah. I mean, I've got enough HP that it ain't nothing's gonna nothing's gonna hurt me. Yes, level it up. Yes, level it up. Yes, level it up. We are taking Twin Headed King Rex. And honestly, that's it. I need to check to see which one of these No. I need to check check and see which one capped my monster's ass. Obviously it was this one, so we're taking that one. But we just really wanted the Twin-Headed King Rex. And yeah, I think you can accept only one monster. You don't have to take all of them. Or you don't even have to take any monsters if you don't want to. So. Eat ass, Rex. Alright. 